Picture a world where a brand new baby is signed up online as a citizen straight from the hospital by their parents who have their own digital ID to deal with the government. All without the hassle of waiting in lines, filling out forms or dealing with paperwork. It might sound like something out of a science fiction movie, but in Estonia, it's already a reality. Estonia has made some serious progress on their digital journey, and you must be thrilled to see that they're once again leading the pack when it comes to digital public services and ranking among the top 10 countries in Europe in terms of the digital economy and society index. In this country, a whopping 99% of government services are available online, 98% of medical prescriptions are sent out digitally, and 99% of the population have an electronic ID. With stats like that, it's no wonder Estonia is sitting pretty at the top of the digital public services leaderboard in the EU. Estonians are innovators. They have created a time and money saving and transparent environment. It's a generally accepted fact that the true benefits of ICT use come from altering current processions and reimagining how services are delivered in the information society, rather than just automating them. The change of management framework was created by the e-governance academy in Estonia, which gathered the lessons learned about changing management both domestically and internationally. The framework acts as a roadmap for modifying management responsibilities in the context of digitizing society and government. Over 2,000 databases and information systems are formally recognized in Estonia. This is where around half of Estonians aged 16 to 74 are using public services digitally. Research found that the most widely used services are digital tax reporting, drug prescriptions, paying state fees and the central service portal eesti.ee. Further popular services include the legal text portal, company registry, e-voting, social benefits and digital education gateway. Estonia's approach to technology infrastructure is based on two main components. Access to all digital services is first granted by a digital ID system. Nearly every resident possesses a digital ID card that is enabled by a pin and card reader. This card serves as the foundation for all government administration processes, including online voting, e-signatures and doctor appointments. Second, the government only keeps data for one time under the once-only principle. The X-Road, a platform that makes data accessible to and usable by other government services, serves as the foundation for this idea. So information about a citizen's address, for instance, is only stored once in the citizen's address database and is not repeated in other government databases. This address database is used to get addresses that are required in order to provide specific services. These two elements combined make the Estonian method incredibly successful and efficient. Data entry by citizens only needs to be done once to be included into all the services saving the government from having inconsistent or redundant data amongst departments. It also makes a safe, highly decentralized system possible. Hackers would not be able to obtain a lot of information from a single database if they were to breach any portion of the system. Citizens also have significantly more control over their data because they can see who accesses it. But you know what? This comprehensive process of digital transformation isn't new. It didn't occur in the blink of an eye. Actually, initial programs were made in Estonia in the early 2000s, and the country's government upholds the digital by default policy. That's why it's challenging to derive some clear comparative numbers regarding this process's cost-benefit ratio. Still, there are a few interesting indicators that we should mention. 98% of Estonian citizens utilize EIDs, which are used to generate more than 10 million digital signatures annually, and 99% of public services in the country are available online. Without a doubt, the overwhelming acceptance of these services indicates their unique appeal. But 80% of their users also mention how much time they save and how much easier they find it to use. Using the digital service, for instance, registers new businesses 14 times faster. An estimated 2% of Estonia's GDP is saved annually by employing electronic signatures. About 7% of Estonia's GDP is made up of the ICT industry. Regarding expenses, Estonia allocates between 1.1% and 1.3% of its governmental budget to digitalization. It's likely that our non-Estonian audience will find it particularly interesting that yearly taxes can be filled in just in a few minutes thanks to pre-filled digital reports that are generated by compatible databases. The average taxpayer needs 11 hours to prepare their taxes, which isn't the case for our Estonian friends. Now, a super important area that we should consider is healthcare and you wouldn't believe that even health services are becoming digital in Estonia. But before we go into it, if you like this video so far, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. It's true that Estonia's healthcare sector has undergone a change thanks to creative e-solutions. Every Estonian patient who has seen a physician has a traceable online e-health record. The health information, which is uniquely identifiable by the electronic ID card, 
is kept totally private but is nevertheless available to those who are authorized. KSI blockchain technology is being utilized to reduce internal data risks and guarantee data security. Estonia has also become one of the forefront e-health pioneers in Europe thanks to secure exchange of information layer XROAD and the entire digital public administration system in Estonia. As soon as COVID-19 struck Europe, medical professionals in almost all hospitals were hoping they were a little more Estonian. In Estonia, things were operating as sort of usual, but doctors from Basingstoke to Bern had to quickly adjust to a completely new means of providing consultations, and pharmacists were looking for an approach that would prevent vulnerable people from waiting outside their establishments to pick up their weekly medications. For the past 12 years, Estonia's health system has been computerized, the majority of the data produced by physicians and hospitals, more than 99% is digital. Through an extremely secure internet portal, citizens may view their own medical records and control who can view them. This implies that it's easy to find out if you've received a yellow fever vaccination and how many millimeters of a specific medication you received after your tonsil removal with a few clicks. Online health services include video consultations and electronic prescriptions tasks that can be quite difficult in other places, such as notifying all pertinent parties of a death, are also extremely easy in Estonia. After a death is recorded online, notifications are immediately sent to the deceased place of employment, the tax office and the population registry. So, it seems like so many aspects of our everyday lives are digital. This must have been so beneficial for the economy as a whole. Estonia is the top country in Europe for digital public services, according to the EU's 2017 Digital Economy and Society Index (DESI). They are highly regarded for having a digital public service infrastructure that is both required and widely accessible, serving as the foundation for the provision of public services. Actually, Estonia is the champion when it comes to offering a digital environment. Despite this, digital democracy, citizen participation, or digitally transformed public services like the welfare state are not the main factors contributing to Estonia's successes in the digital sphere. International coverage frequently ignores the unique characteristics of Estonia's digital accomplishments while also highlighting the gap between the country's technology infrastructure and level of digital penetration. Over the past few years, they've gained importance as a political and policy matter on a national level. The rising technology and digitization in Estonia contributed to the country's GDP growth. In fact, the GDP increased from $5.7 billion in 2000 to $37.9 billion in 2022. Estonia has also received the highest amount of venture capital investment in Central and Eastern Europe, with 2.6 billion euros invested in enterprises there between 2015 and 2021. Just in January 2022, investments of over 820 million euros were made in Estonian companies. The businesses, Estonia seems to be doing quite well in terms of digital business. It received 128 points in the digital business category, which is 28% more than the CEE average. That's amazing. But you know what's more amazing? In terms of digital governance, Estonia received 134 points in the public sector and digital governance, which is 34% higher than the average. Estonia leads the world in digital citizen engagement with the government. Estonia does a great job of developing the population's digital abilities as well as future tech talent leaders. In fact, they score 128 in terms of the digital skills of the general population and 128 in regard to the skilled tech talent base, which is much higher than the CEE average. Of course, there is still room for improvement as the nation scores 88 out of 100 for graduates studying STEM and is 6% behind the global average for private investment in R&D. Businesses can become more inventive and productive with the aid of digitization. To succeed, however, businesses must also prioritize digital skills, digital-first leadership and a hybrid workplace culture in addition to technology investment. Even prior to the epidemic, Estonia had above average rates of remote work, indicating that we are in a good position to adopt hybrid working in the future. It goes without doubt that the road towards this digital society wasn't easy. And yes, there have been tough challenges to this transition. A significant cyber attack that took down the majority of the nation's digital infrastructure occurred in 2007. Following the incident, the NATO Cyber Defense Center of Excellence relocated to Estonia, where it now carries out extensive cyber defense exercises. The government also established a data embassy in Luxembourg, where copies of all of its data are kept. In 2017, more than 10,000 cyber events in Estonia required the response of officials. Estonia is now susceptible to cyber attacks and sanctioned violations due to the use of online databases and initiatives such as e-residency, as cautioned by the nation's top financial regulator. 
Officials from the government acknowledged that living in a digital age requires being ready for cyber attacks. But, as stated by government representatives, everyone should practice good online hygiene. People always need to be taught how to cope with things, much like hygiene. You wash your hands to prevent the spread of germs. It's true that the transformation towards a digital society wasn't easy. Estonia faced so many challenges, but proudly, it was able to handle them. Here are three main challenges that Estonia has been handling quite well. Challenge number one. The government had to reconsider its operations and the issues the old government administration was dealing with to develop Estonia's data infrastructure. How to establish connectivity amongst government entities that used to function in closed systems and with separate systems was one of the first concerns. Ensuring the safeguarding of government data and its accessibility was crucial. Estonia used the blockchain technology in addition to a decentralized system and cryptography to address these issues. The blockchain records all information regarding information requests, allowing citizens to see who has access to their data and when. Not just that, data ownership issues arise when government data is made available to the private sector. In the real world though, the question is more related to data use than it is about data ownership. It is planned for Estonia's data management system to be built upon an arrangement for each sort of data. This means that the data infrastructure in Estonia determines who has access to what information. And this takes us to the next challenge. Challenge number two. Establishing a context and a legal framework that ensures confidence in the new system is necessary for the development of a data infrastructure. In Estonia, data security is highly valued and seen as the key component that makes the country's digital society possible. With a social security code, anyone can check their information online and discover when and by whom their data has been accessed. Additionally, you can inquire about any specific question, which promotes greater confidence in the services. It's worthy to mention that the infrequent instances of data privacy violations have been classified as serious offences. One of the main concepts is that the public sector is driving the creation of the information society, as it is more well known, but that the private sector, the public sector and other sectors are working together to make these advancements. That's why a number of acts have been adopted to secure the preservation of basic rights and freedom as well as personal data. This is to reassure Estonian society about the use of their data. Individuals, more specifically, are the owners of their personal information and have the power to decide how it's used. Challenge number three, creating flexible incentives that allow for the implementation of an efficient digital society and the avoidance of obstacles to its adoption. It seems that there haven't been many obstacles to adoption in Estonia, either from the institutional or user perspectives. This is due to a number of factors, including the population size, which facilitates easier implementation and more effective communication above programs. Now, despite these challenges, it's clear that Estonian's economy is performing really well. Its present and future seem to be all colors and butterflies. With only 1.3 million people, Estonia is a small country, but it packs a powerful punch in the global arena. They're a vibrant member of the EU and most international organizations, and they rank crazy high in the most global assessments of the business environment, placing it first in the International Tax Competitive Index, third in the EU's Index of Economic Freedom, 14th in ease of doing business, and second in internet freedom. In fact, if the internet had a physical address, it would probably be located in Estonia. The country is happy with its highly sophisticated telecommunications network. Estonia has developed into one of the globe's most technologically developed and networked nations in under 20 years, a truly digital society. The nation is known as e-Estonia, with internet access officially recognized as a human right some of the fastest broadband speeds in the entire world being readily accessible throughout the nation and digital public services integrated into people and organizations' everyday lives. It would be amazing to live in this paperless, digital, tech-savvy society, also known as e-Estonia. Allows individuals to use the internet to obtain prescription drugs, submit taxes, sign documents, and cast ballots. Using a safe government-issued Estonian ID card, they may complete all of that quickly and smoothly from the comfort of their own home or place of work. Long waits and paper checks at bureaucratic public organizations have no place in Estonia. It's now taken for granted by Estonians that their public services are accessible around the clock. I suppose those used to bureaucracies built on paper are unaware of what they are missing. Today, Estonia is the dream of every entrepreneur in business. A number of foreign direct investments, FDI, and major players from around the world have made their way to Estonia in several sectors, including ICT, transport and logistics services, industrial machinery and metalworking, and electronics. 
It's unbelievable how Estonia is able to attract so much FDIs, a lot more than other countries. In 2019, FDIs represented more than 80% of its GDP. They benefit from a workforce that is tech-savvy and well-educated due to the country's seven universities and 17 other professional higher education institutions. In addition, as a result of having an excellent IT education system and a workforce that speaks five or more different languages fluently, Estonia has emerged as the champion in the regional market for IT shared services. Also, in keeping with the idea of a nation without borders, the Liberal Estonian government has also launched a state startup called e-residency, which is a state-issued secure digital identity for non-residents that permits digital verification and the digital signing of papers. Over 500 entrepreneurs have used e-residency to manage their firms, over 10,000 people from 120 countries have joined, and over 250 new enterprises have been formed by e-residents since the program's launch. Future advancements in digital technology will be built around the newly enacted New Digital Agenda 2030. It outlines forward objectives and a plan of action for preserving the progress made in e-Estonia, while also utilizing new digital technologies to advance the country's state, economy, and society. To sum up, most nations aim to reach this degree of e-government, so it wasn't surprising to find out that world leaders and celebrities are eager to learn from a nation that has effectively incorporated digital identity and e-government. Since gaining independence from the Soviet Union in the 1990s, Estonia has been at the forefront of e-government for several years. When faced with a blank canvas, such as the necessity to design a tax system from the ground up, the government chose to develop it digitally. Since then, everything in Estonia may be done online, aside from getting married or divorced and purchasing a property. You can even take advantage of Estonia's digital business environment by becoming an e-resident from any part of the globe. Estonia intends to continue advancing its already highly digitalized public administration. The goal of nearly half of the initiatives promoting the digital transformation of the Estonian plan is to advance the digitalization of public services and administration. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons to receive more content. See you in the next video.